Hello and welcome to the weekly news roundup. Now we have to begin with a quick review of last week's Kipler show at Media City UK, which was somewhat of a milestone in getting events back on track and the industry meeting once again face to face. Let's have a look at what some of the exhibitors thought about finally being out. Being back at Kip Plus and being back at shows is absolutely fantastic. It's actually great to be out meeting people and customers again really enjoying it great to see people again it's been a lovely day it's great to be back in a in, in a trade show where we're meeting face to face with with people this is a product we launched prior to covid restrictions and this is the first time we've had to show it and yeah it's great man everyone's everyone's enjoying themselves at kit plus and i'm having a great time fantastic to be out and about again it feels brilliant they've done an amazing job and we're here to talk about our storage solutions certainly a good lot of exhibitors very worth coming in my opinion and uh, yeah, so uh, it's been a good show so far. It's great to be showing people these devices and the similar SIP codecs and our web-based service, IPDTL, here at Kit Plus Show in Salford today. Firstly, it's fantastic to be back uh, actually at a live trade show after the uh, chaos of the last 18, 20 months, whatever it's been. And we're really excited to be back and showing a lot of different equipment. We're showing a lot of 4K products, PTZs, camcorders, and all things switching. Great to be back in, in front of people. Uh, the last trade show we did was 18 months ago down at Brick Lane with the Kit Plus guys. And here we are in Manchester seeing customers. It's fantastic. Honestly, it feels like uh, it's a relief. It's nice to be out and about and seeing people after what feels like so long, just to remember what our industry is all about and how nice the people are. It's great to be out here in Manchester, Media City, UK. Um, thank you so much to Kit Plus for putting this show on and taking all the precautions that we need. I have got a face mask, just taking it off temporarily for this. And just being around people again and Back to seeing customers and just chatting about gear and geeking out has been a, a real plus point after being locked up. Uh, it's a little bit strange, but it's really good, actually. It's really nice to be back and, and actually uh, talking face to face with some of the customers, um, some of our dealers. So it's been great to get people in touching the products, actually seeing them properly working more than just going online. So it's been a fantastic show and looking forward to doing a lot more. I'm, I'm pleased to say it's been a fantastic day and we've met lots of new faces and pleased to see a show back um, which has been fantastic you know it's been a long time coming and I think the attendance today has been you know party to that it's been really nice to see lots and lots of people about and get out there and meet and greet and you know start um, start functioning normally again in some sense so you know uh, long may it continue. Yeah absolutely long may it continue and in fact we can announce the Kit Plus show will be back on the 7th of September in London and we'll have more details to follow on that in the coming weeks. Thanks to those exhibitors who took the time to give us a few words in what really was a busy day for everyone. It was great to be back. And a massive thanks to our partners Pebble, who supported the seminars, Exhibition Freighting for their efforts in infection control and the transport of the, all the kit to Salford, Manor Marketing for their amazing job in spreading the word uh, far and wide about the show, and of course to Media City for their continued support in what was our 10th year in Salford. Yeah, absolutely. We'll have some more insights from the show detailing what each exhibitor was showing coming up later this week. But if you didn't catch the live stream seminars, then they are now available to watch on our channel. So do check those out. Just Google Kit Plus YouTube and you will see the Kit Plus show playlist. I think they're on the IABM as well, weren't they? They were indeed, yeah. IABM were streaming them Good on job. the BAM Live platform, so you can check them out Bam there Live. as well. So probably enough about us, and first in the news is ATEM, who have just announced it has integrated Dolby Vision HDR and Dolby Atmos immersive audio technologies into its Titan Live solution. That makes it the first solution on the market to encode and deliver both experiences natively. Teradek has launched a new member of the Bolt family, the Bolt 4K Monitor Module TX. This new small HD integrated Bolt 4K system also unlocks an exciting new feature, built-in wireless camera control. Now users can take control of their ARRI camera from up to 750 feet away. Look out for more this summer with a 1500 foot TXRX models and Red Komodo and DSMC2 wireless control. Polygon Labs has announced that News12 Networks has selected its data aggregation and visualization platform Ipsum which is fully integrated into Epic Games' powerful real-time 3D creation platform, Unreal Engine. News 12 Networks consists of seven local cable news channels in the New York area, 
and uses Polygon Ipsum, which is a cloud-based enterprise level application that enables streamlined management, data curation, and centralized scheduling to centralize its master control graphics solution for its seven stations. We have reported on the Prismon multi-viewer system from Roden Swartz before, but now let's go over to Kieran for some latest news. Red Bee Media, the global media services company, is preparing to move to an all IP future and selected Prismon multi-viewers from Rode and Schwartz to monitor more than 450 streams. Prismon is a software-defined scalable distributed IP multi-viewer using Cox hardware. What does that mean for Red Bee? Multi-viewers are mission critical in their playout centers and Red Bee wanted an IP multi-viewer that they could configure and reconfigure quickly and easily. Prismon gives Red Bee the flexibility to deliver any input to any output and share resources right across the network, for example for Codex, as they make the move from STI to IP. It's all about that transition from SDI to IP. Sounds, sounds good. Thanks, Kerry. Playbox Technology UK, the channel in the box provider, has implemented a system for ingest and delivery at UK agency Imagine Media Network based in Manchester. Among its broad range of services, Imagine Media Network includes a multi-camera Ultra HD Ready Studio for its in-house productions and for use by clients, including live broadcasts. AJ Video Systems has expanded its lineup of open gear compatible 12 gig SDI fiber converters with a pair of new OG FIDO 12 gig cards for receiving signals from LC fiber or ST fiber and converting those signals to baseband 12 gig SDI. The card is a fiber receiver that supports single channel conversion from ST fiber to 12 gig SDI and offers dual channel conversion from LC fiber to 12 gig SDI. Both new models receive 12 gig SDI signals from standard fiber sources like the AJA Fido Mini converters. Pixel Power has joined the SRT Alliance, the open source initiative dedicated to overcoming the challenges of low latency video streaming. The move will support Pixel Power's flexible solutions for master control playout with fully integrated graphics and branding. DVA Microphones has released the 4466 core omnidirectional and 4488 core directional headset microphones. Let's have a closer look. Hi guys, it's my pleasure to introduce you to the new 4466 4488 headset from DPA, a welcomed addition to our renowned headset series. Now offering the legendary DPA sound from the well-known 5mm capsules, but now on a Red Dot award-winning head mount. This head mount was designed with focus on the comfort and stability, but with low visibility due to the non-reflective PVD treated surfaces, but without compromising on neither flexibility or adjustability. The head mount is a one-size-fits-all type, designed with a three-point gripping system around the ears and a 90-degree cable relief at the back allowing the user to hide the cable on either side away from the camera angle. The new headsets are available both in Omni and Directional versions. And both versions are available in beige, the golden version you see here, and in black. And later this year, also in brown. Thank you for watching. Nice. Looks like a good fit for everything. Sort of Theatre, broadcast, worship, corporate, conferencing. Absolutely. Uh, Clearcom's new Station IC virtual desktop client is now available for the LQ series of IP interface devices, as well as Clearcom's Eclipse digital intercom matrix. Full integration with the wide variety of LQ interface offers channel-based routing, which allows Station IC to connect to Clearcom's Encore party line systems, TW party line, HelixNet, two-way radios, SIP telephone lines, GPIO signaling, and to any other intercom or audio system via 4-wire. Mosis Engineering has supplied the brand new Mosis VP Pro XR extended reality server, as well as Star Tracker, to ARRI for its new studio in Uxbridge, west of London, making them the first user of this innovative technology. The new facility is one of the largest permanent LED volume studios in Europe and they have chosen the Mosis technology, which is designed specifically for real-time final pixel shooting to deliver cinematic quality imagery, as well as precise 3D tracking for the cameras, allowing directors to see the combined real and virtual images during the filming process and eliminating, eliminating that lengthy post-production compositing process. Yeah, some really cool technology coming out of Mosis right now. They were actually an exhibitor mm. at last week's Kipler show. Definitely worth checking that out. 
Now, providing customers with communication solutions to cover the most challenging environments has been a hot topic recently. Let's go over to Art now from Pliant Technologies. Hi, Art Gonzalez with Pliant Technologies, here to talk about Microcom XR, which is our portable pack-to-pack -pack solution that requires no base station for wireless operation. We have two new operation modes that are brand new, one called repeater mode and one called roam mode. Both of these modes allow you to go around obstacles such as walls and buildings and also extend the range of the product. For more information on Microcom XR, please go to www.plianttechnologies.com. Thanks, Art. And yeah, do make sure you check that out. South African internet radio station Vibes Live has moved into the digital realm with Colorex Type R for radio to take advantage of its power, flexibility and sound quality. The station, which launched two years ago, now has a six-fader AOIP-based Type R with dual-layer functionality, which gives it extra faders at the touch of a button. Uh, Vibes Live also added a Type R large soft panel with feature sets pre-loaded for more control. Lynx Technic has launched seven new fibre yellow bricks. These new models offer a cost-effective solution to convert fibre to copper ethernet, copper to fibre, fibre to fibre, multi-mode or single mode, or simply to extend electrical ethernet signals over a bi-directional single fibre with support up to 10 gigabits per second. ETV Barrett, the comprehensive digital national news platform, has selected a range of Grass Valley solutions to underpin its upgraded production and editing operations. The new setup includes the video production and content management tool GV Stratus, integrated with non-linear editing software Edius. It gives the service provider future-ready capability, allowing it to scale its operations both on-premise and remotely. Well, that's it for the news this week. Don't forget to get your news heard on the show, then please do add it to the Kit Plus press room. You can find more information on how to do that at kitplus.com forward slash help. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss any of our daily interviews, reviews and discussions. Thanks to Media Proxy for their support of Kit Plus TV and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.